Hi everybody, Susie Q here and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. And today I want to show you my basement fish room. But not just a regular tour. I want to document this. I started my whole YouTube channel to document my hobby and its growth. As most of you know, if you know me, you know I'm new to the fish keeping hobby and I want to be a better aquarist. What better way to be a better aquarist than to follow Greg Jones on YouTube? Check out this link. Amazing. He, can, he has helped me become a better aquarist in more ways than one. But I want to document, I want to document my basement fish room, which I have been moving tanks downstairs. I had one too many floods for my own sake, and I wanted to make sure it was on concrete. So I can't get all my tanks down here yet. I, I will, this will be my fish room, someday my fish room of my dreams, but as, as a lot of you know, I really have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm setting up one tank at a time, my 40 gallon breeder wall, my nano breeding projects, my 55 gallon ambunas. You guys are so mean. Plus, and I'll, I'll walk around and show you all these, but I've run into many issues. I have air issues, I have electrical issues, I have, uh, I don't know how to hang lights issues, so I just like leave them there. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing on a lot of aspects of setting up a fish room. So anyway, so I do want to document my hobby. That's the whole reason why I started YouTube is so that not only I could document my hobby, but I could show people the passion that I'm getting from this this hobby. It's absolutely amazing. So I, as I'm watching one of my favorite YouTubers, he is celebrating 30,000 subscribers at the time. And I think he was making episode 568. He was making slate pleco caves. So I'm like, wow, that's cool. Like I've never even thought to cut slate with a saw. Like I know how to smash it on the ground and get pieces, but I was watching him and towards the end of his video, he had a contest. He had to write something in the comments and the winner would get, he would help design. Now, he's not gonna pay for it, he's not gonna come down and build it, but his expertise and his knowledge, he would help design a fish room of somebody's dreams. Well, I look around and because I'm living the dream, I'm thinking I have the fish room of my dreams, but I also know I don't know what I'm doing and I could use a lot of efficiencies and a lot of help. So I commented on him, oh, I would like that. But I think the wording he said is something a little different. Maybe it wasn't contracted, like I would like, or I want a fish room, I want to win something. But I didn't put it in the right words, so I went back and edited my comment, or added to my exact comment, and, and put the exact words that he said, like I want a fish room, I want a fish room, I want this, I want this. Anyway, long story longer, um, and and I, I'm not really good with Facebook Messenger. I'm not really good with Facebook. I could just say that much. But anyway, I got a message from Greg Jones saying, I won! I win! <laughs> like I was like, I, I had to read it like five times, six times, seven times. I win. I won. I'm like, wow. Holy cow. And then he started asking some questions. Just the initial questions he's asking was like, whoa, like, like size, just regular questions, but like with the dimensions of this, the dimensions of your fish room. I'm like, I'm like, I measure my foot, my dimensions with my shoes on. I go one, two, three. I'm not lying. Yes, that's how I measure. I got a measuring tape. And, and plus I have tile floors that are one by one, 12 inch by 12 inch. So I can go one, two, three, four, okay, that's four foot. Now, whether they're actually 12 inches or 11 and a half inches, I don't know. But he did suggest, I still can't get over I want. Use a measuring tape and actually measure. So one of my, so I measured and I sent him back and then he sent me back and we're going back and forth with some things. And one of the questions he said is, how comfortable are you at drilling tanks? I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, piece of cake, I'll try anything. What? Um what <laughs> like uh, this is going to be amazing i'm trying to stay open flexible pliable because my brain only sees this because that's all i know and you only know what you know so he knows this 
like he's one of the founders of the my aquarium box and the my aquarium store he's got an amazing greenhouse i watch him put down his greenhouse and his patio he's one of the kindest hard-working people out there and he's willing to share his knowledge <laughs> i'm listening i am going to remain teachable even though some of the things he says are beyond the scope of what i can even comprehend another one of the questions was what direction do you see your fish hobby going in? I had to ask some friends on this one, like, what, how would you answer that? Like, wait, what? <laughs> like, cause I'm learning, like I'm loving the BAP program and learning how to breed and learning that these fish come from Africa, but they come from Africa, but they come from a rift lake and these come from West Africa and they come from a rift lake, but a different one. I'm learning all this stuff. I'm learning all this stuff. I'm learning about the South American cichlids and the Central American cichlids. And we even have North American cichlids. And <sighs> I'm learning about this stuff. I got Karis fish. I want to do preservation so bad. But what direction? I'm like, I have never looked past. I love this hobby. I can't even define what the hobby is because I'm only scratching the surface. So a couple of his questions really blew me away. I was like, Am I in over my head? And I have to remember, like, am I in over my head? <laughs> I'm just going to remain teachable. But what I can do for me is document my fish room today, how it is set up. Oh my gosh, I'm so stinking excited. It's not even funny. So I'm going to show the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, and I'm not quite done. I still have three more fish that are coming downstairs, but their tanks have been up and set up and running. And I got my cold water fish. I got the ones that are going to go out in my summer tubs. I got, because once spring starts, I have to redo my pond. If you remember, I put in a 2,000 gallon pond last year. And towards mid-year, I've determined that the waterfall leaks. So I got to tear down my waterfall, pull it up. But if he's going to guide me and give me a great design. And, and I'm in a house now where I, I still have children living with me. And if they got their own apartment and that could be part of my fish room, what? Kyle and Amy, not that I want you to go anywhere. I'm just saying, what? I could be like a what? Wow. Okay, so I'm babbling. I realize I'm babbling and probably nobody else cares about this, but I'm going to be documenting this. I'm going to show you my fish room now, whether or not I, I don't know, but I'm just excited. Okay, this is a tank that didn't quite make it into the fish room. It's still in this back workshop area where I got a lot of my male angels that aren't a part of what I was breeding. But I'm going to introduce them to my females and see if I can get any pairs. This is my breeding project for the long fin calico plecos and long fin super reds and long finned, just long fin plecos. I also have some pseudomoogles in here. So that's this tank. But when you come out into my fish room, I have these racks of 20 longs, which I have been informed and I absolutely believe that these are not the most sturdy things. So after it was brought to my attention, I do get that these shelves may have to go. But I do love the 20 long. And we'll come up here and you can see just one eighth of my electrical nightmare so i have timers for lights i got things not on timers such as this air filter which only has four nozzles but i try to make it last for all six tanks so i got my platies my pea puffers my cares fish these are my rosies um here's a jewel cichlid I just don't know where he belongs yet. He started off in quarantine here and he just stayed there. So on this side, I've got my Ambunas, which is a 55 gallon. I do have space underneath for um, a canister filter and I was given an old canister filter. I just don't know how to use it yet. And I got my wall of nano tanks. Let me back up. Most of these are cold water, even though they have heaters in them. That's just in case, because we're in the basement. If we lose power, we're in the middle of winter here. So this is going to be, if I can pair up angels, this is a planted 20 gallon. This is a hospital tank with medicine. This is a pair of proven breeders that I got many of my um, fry from. 
And this is a, a, another empty tank ready for the upstairs. Um, I think what's going in here is Daisy Rice Fish. Here I have my Paradise Fish. Male, female. Um, I don't think he knows how to build the bubble nest yet. Oh, there is a bubble nest in the back. Yes. This was supposed to be an empty tank for my fish upstairs. But if you can see, there's lots of baby guppy fry. Darn it. These are some white cloud minnows. Part of my breeding, breeding project last year in summer tubs. And they'll be going back outside. And this is another cold water tank that I'll be bringing down. My croaking garamis. They did very well last year. So they're coming down. Then I got little five gallon tanks. It's ready for some of the nano fish upstairs. This basically, I guess, is just growing duckweed. <laughs> and just more. This is my just in case. I bring home fish and I got to separate them. These are my blue endlers which I absolutely love but I've never culled any so I would never sell them as blue endlers anymore but it doesn't matter I love them and, and a lot of these fish is because I belong to my Bucks County Aquarium Society and when I bring home fish I gotta quarantine them I do not medicate my quarantine unless I see an issue but I do watch them for three four weeks or sometimes it turns into the real tank so anyway so that's the nano wall there's just one wall left, and that is my 40 breeder. This is my most recent setup with my electric blue Jack Dempsey's and my Polyterras. And it's a 40 breeder. It's got a mismatch of substrate planted. These are my axolotls cold water, my daughter's axolotls cold water, my red devil who will never have a friend in the world, but she is beautiful. My Oscar, who's pretty upset with me right now because I just wiped off the sides of his tank. And he's like, he doesn't, he just gets all pouty. Every time I put my hands in his tank, unless I'm feeding him. These are my fancy goldfish, cold water. But they're kind of in a semi-blackout, except for the camera lights right now. Over here is my shell dwellers I just brought downstairs. Here is my blue cichlid mores and my frontosas. Absolutely love this setup, how they peek out of the houses and under the bridge and from the trees and almost looks like, you see her square jaw, is she holding? She just went in the back, skittish. But up there you can see, here's some electrical outlet, not on timers and another air pump. Springtails because it gets so hot, it stays nice and moist up here. These are more electrical outlets, not on a timer. These are some electrical outlets on a timer. And here's the timer for it, not on a timer. It, you can see it's just like a big spider web, another air sponge, another air filter. And then I have just this little corner cabinet for food. There is space, I thought at one point, for another 40 breeder here. But that's it, because my fish room ends here. So that is my basement project so far. It has taken everything in me to create what I've created, but I also created it knowing that I'm way in over my head. So winning this contest is such a huge thing for me. Like, wow, like to get some kind of direction. So I am stoked. So thanks for coming along. And checking out the basement fish room as it is today, as is. And where do you see now? This is going to take a little bit of time. And I'm going to just keep progressing at it. Whatever he says, I'm going to take it in. I'm going to ask questions. If he's going to help design the fish room of my dreams, I, I am so willing. I'm so willing. So I can't wait to show you the progress. It might be slow. It might it's going to be slow, I think. <laughs> and not on Greg's part, on my part. You know, my capabilities. As you'll see when I walk around, I have a hard time hanging an electrical outlet because I can't get the little stupid nails to stay in the wall or screws. Or You'll see my, uh, my competency levels on certain things. Thanks for checking out my fish room, and I will see you next time. And if you want to be a better aquarist, check out Greg Jones. See you next time.